Now, it might look like I'm surfing the internet, but believe it or not, I'm actually trying to catch a thief. I'm using an online surveillance system that allows subscribers to watch live CCTV feeds on behalf of shopkeepers. If I see someone pinching from the shelves, I simply hit the alert button and the shopkeeper instantly gets sent a video clip of what I've just seen. Better still, if I catch someone in the act, I win a tenner. But should you be worried about the idea of people snooping on you whilst you shop? And does it actually catch the crooks? Rather surprisingly, it seems to be working. All these people have been caught by ordinary members of the public. So I want to meet a member of this secret army of crime fighters. 62-year-old Derek has several hits to his name. He helps stem the tide of retail theft from his kitchen table. Or his lounge sofa come to that. In fact, he's even caught criminals while he's doing the dishes. Ah, oh, hi Adrian. How Derek, you how you doing? Oh, you all right? How you going? Yeah, good to see you. Where is Mission Control? In the kitchen? Kitchen table. <laughs> what is this all about? Because Isn't it essentially you spying on people doing their shopping? That's one way of looking at it, I suppose. Yes, you can kind of say, well, it's snooping, it's voyeurism, it's anything you want. It is about curiosity, about what is that person doing, what, what's happening there. I mean, do you ever find yourself staring at the screen inside willing people to do bad things? I don't think I've ever done that, but uh, you, you can get engrossed in somebody's, in somebody's behaviour. To me, honestly, Derek, I think this looks like just good fun, trying to spot something yeah. bad when it happens <laughs> You're right. and being the first to do it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, even, even now we're talking to each other, I keep having a quick look because, and even you're doing it, if I'm actually sitting here with you. <laughs> well, I was quite excited about someone trying to nick a bottle of red wine. That was a... Well, let's hope it's a good one. <laughs> the potential for snooping is limited because these sofa spies can't record footage, only monitor it live. But are Derek and others like him really helping shopkeepers? Arrol certainly thinks so. He was losing thousands of pounds a year to shoplifters, but since signing up to the online watchers, ordinary members of the public have alerted him to more than 300 thefts. It was shock to me. You know, some of them are ranges from 20 year old to 70 year old. And the worst bit is, is the regular customers, they were in my good books. And uh, knowing my name, my, my, my names and kids' name and all that, they are the one on the game. There you go. Disappeared. Magician. <laughs> Shoplifters these days uh, vary um, from cheese to wine bottle to yeah, deodorant, nice. um, even Weetabix, believe it or not. I had a guy standing in Weetabix, so he must be hungry. Look around, PGT bags. There you go, bag. Thank you very much. Carry on casually as if nothing happens. <laughs> Back at Derrick's, we both got our eyes on a man by the newspapers. Watch what? that magazine. Right, see it's folded up down here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's yeah. his bag. Let's see what, let's see whether it, it might be or it might not be. Yeah, he's going to walk out of shop now, so we don't know quite what he's, what he's done with that magazine, you see. So if he re-emerges into, into shop... Without the magazine. Without the magazine. He's banged to right. Yes, yeah, we've got him. There he goes. Right. With no sign of the magazine, Derek hits the alert button and sends a message warning the shopkeeper of a possible theft. Derek, I'm a digital super sleuth. Yep. Believe it or not, the shopkeeper confirmed the theft. He got his man and Derek got a tenner.